Hey everyone, this is Mr. Airsoft. In today's video, I will be giving five airsoft recommendations in order to have more longer lasting, reliable airsoft guns and gear. And I'm just letting you guys know that the information that I'll be giving is mainly based off of my personal experiences. I'm not a major authority on this topic. Just wanted to put that out there. The first thing that I recommend getting is a multifunction balance charger like the one you see here. Uh, this one's by Tenergy. It's the TB6B model. Um, it's basically a knockoff of the IMAX B6 models. Um, I don't know for sure if that's true, but that's what I've heard from other people anyways. Um, they do the same thing though. Uh, what I like about this charger is that it can charge different types of batteries. Um, different connections uh, and it has multiple ways to charge um, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head but you can it's a, it does a better job of balancing your batteries than um, you know cheap charge you get off of that many websites offer like this stupid you know Asian crap uh, more on that later but um, this one can also do storage charging, which lowers your battery's percentage down to around 40%, I think, of what it normally, like, of, of its full, I think, of its full charge, which, um, is a, is a safer way to store so they don't puff. My friend already ruined one of his batteries by using this exact model to charge it. Um, he wasn't using his battery for a long time, and he charged it to full with that charger, and, um, it puffed later on because he hadn't used it for a while so ne I'll never do uh, store my batteries on full again with I'll store storage charging with this charger from now on so um, in general these chargers are going to be nicer to your batteries than um, the cheap ones that you would get um, and if you're a beginner I can see why you or if you you know you're, you're just try, trying the sport I can see how you wouldn't want to get one of these these are you know a lot more expensive than the cheaper charger that I just had there um, but if you're you know more into the sport like me then I would 100% recommend one of these they will be nicer to your batteries and your batteries will last a lot longer with these the second thing that I would recommend getting is a high power high discharge lipo battery and this one right here specifically is a 11.1 volt 2500 MAH 35C lipo um, the reason for this is because um, the higher the power, the uh, more systems that it can support. So if you're going to upgrade your gun to a more high stress build, then um, a more powerful battery will obviously be able to apply it easier than uh, a less powerful battery would be able to. And in general, uh, more powerful batteries uh, just make your guns crisper and they sound nicer and it just overall boosts the performance a bit um, I'm gonna be honest this battery here is definitely not the most powerful powerful one out there you can get I know that Turnigy makes really nice uh, high power lipo batteries I just wasn't able to get one because I needed to get a get this one in time because I wanted to go to this event and you know have a good battery but I couldn't get the Turnigy ones because they wouldn't have come in time so I'm just going to go with this one for a while. I've done the calculations and it, it definitely is able to support the build I have, which I'll have another video on that coming up. But um, just in general, uh, high power lipos boost the performance of your guns pretty well. Although usually with the more powerful lipos, you want to have a MOSFET with them. and We'll get to that later. The third thing that I'd recommend for Airsoft is getting Dean's connections for your wiring, and the reason for this is because uh, Dean's are generally more reliable than Tamiya's. Um, in my experience, I've had multiple Tamiya's connections uh, break or get bent out of shape, especially the uh, silver slots that the prongs will go into. Uh, and I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I think that I've heard before that Dean's can transfer current better, so uh, they are, they are more friendly with, uh, high power, high stress setups where you have these high power batteries hooked up with these insane, uh, setups and it's transferring a lot of current. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, don't, don't take that too seriously. I might be wrong, but 
in general, Deans are more reliable than Tamiya's. The fourth thing that I would recommend in Airsoft is a battery detector. Um, and what they do is you plug the laundry, um, your the charging uh, connector of your battery and it basically just tests the battery and looks it over for problems, usually for low voltage cells. Uh, I used it on my friend's battery when uh, it was acting up and sure enough it, that his uh, battery had a uh, really low voltage cell. So we figured that out with this thing and they're really cheap and they're really helpful. Um, they don't really improve the reliability of any of your setups exactly, but they help you to diagnose problems or figure out if your battery is bad or anything like that. And I personally would recommend it for anyone who is a serious air software because uh, you'll be able to know what your battery is, uh, what your battery's level is at, what each individual cell's level is at, and you'll know if your battery is having a problem. Now, the fifth thing that I'd recommend is a MOSFET. And I'm going to be honest, I did definitely go all, all out with the MOSFET I got. This is not a cheap MOSFET. Uh, Gate Titan uh, Advance, I think about around $150. I don't know the exact amount, but the reason that MOS, you don't have to get an advanced MOSFET like this. Um, you can even get like a 30, 34 base MOSFET, which just protects your trigger contacts and can sometimes enhance the rate of fire. Um, but you, you can get any one of those. Um, just the reason game MOSFET is in general is for overall better re reliable electrical system and um, reliable uh, performance from your gun. Uh, the more advanced you get, obviously, the more your gun's going to be better. But uh, if you want to have a more re reliable gun in general, I would definitely recommend a MOSFET, even a 34-base 30, MOSFET. And I re really like this MOSFET personally. I would definitely recommend it to anyone that would like to spend a lot of money on a MOSFET. It definitely su suited the needs that I uh, had and the, what I wanted to do with my gun. But yeah, love the Gate Titan. Would definitely recommend it. This was just a pretty uh, quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm kind of, to be honest with you, I was kind of lazy. I didn't want to take apart my gun right now. I was going to do the... Uh, build video next on my uh, g and 550 which it, I'll do eventually. Um, the airsoft season is pretty much over for me right now for the rest of the year, so I have a lot of time to do it. Uh, I'm just kind of lazy right now. I've been really busy lately, so I just wanted to get this quick video out there for you guys. Um, once again, don't uh, take me as an, a major authority on these topics. Is, most of these, I've, most of the things I've said are based off of my personal experience. But the next video that I think is going to be out is going to be um, something on my G&G &G, uh, 550. I don't know if it's going to be the shooting video or the build video, but that should be coming up at the most within the next few weeks, I think. But we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.